Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Mr. McGinty's How-To Guides. Today we're going to go over how to set up the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 tablet. Alright, this is what it looks like fresh out of the box. The screen protector is still on it. Alright, now inside the box we have a couple of things. You have user's manual, which we'll get to that. USB cable. Part of the wall charger that has USB in so you can hook up the tablet to this and then charge it from the wall and the actual wall adapter with the prongs so wall adapter with the prongs back part of the actual charger clicks together just like that and then you have your USB on the other end plug that in plug this into the wall you're good to go alright so in the actual manual you have the quick start guide nice and thin couple of special offers and signing up for uh, accessory information, um, register your product. Be sure to register because if you need support for it, that's what it's there for. And then you have this nice, super thick health and safety packet. All right, let's take a look at some of the external features of the actual Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. So obviously you have your screen right here. You have your frontward facing cam for, you know, video chat. Then you have this for your pictures. Now, of course, you have your power button on the right-hand side and then your volume control. What you might not notice right away is this little guy, the little black dot. That's actually an infrared sensor. You can use the actual Samsung tablet as a smart remote for Samsung smart TVs. So you want to change a channel, you want to change volume, you want to do some sort of additional feature on your, your actual TV, you can do it straight through here. Then you also have a micro SD port, so you can upgrade the actual storage capacity of the tablet. I believe this one holds up to 32 gigs. It may actually go up to 64 uh, off the top of my head. I honestly don't know. All right, we're at the beginning screen. So first it asks you to select language. We're in North America, so I'm gonna go with English United States. All right, now it wants me to select my Wi-Fi information. Uh, this is actually for someone else, so I'm going to select it as my network to start off with. And then after I'm done setting it up, we'll get it set up on theirs. All right, it's connected, and now we're going to go ahead and go to the next step. All right, set time, set date, and set location. Time is dead on. Go next. Now... With the Samsung device, they do want you to sign up for a Samsung account. If you don't really care about the additional features that it offers, you can skip straight through this, and that's what we're going to do for the time being. Got Gmail? You should, especially if you own an Android-powered device. It, otherwise, you're not going to get to any features or any uh, thing on the um, App Store or Google Play Store is what it's called now. All right, if you don't want any additional emails that or notifications from Google, you can uncheck keep me up to date with news and offers from Google Play. That way you won't get any update notifications in your email. All right, now on to entertainment. It's going to ask you if you want to input a credit card into Google Wallet in case you want to buy something off of the Play Store. For the time being, I will not. Uh, if you do, go ahead and click set up credit card and put in your information as, per, or as prompted. All right, next up is Backup and Restore. If by chance you feel like backing up the settings and information from your tablet to your Google account, feel free to do so. That's what I'm doing, just in case something ever happens to it and you need to actually restore it to the tablet. All right, now you have Google and Location. It's going to want to know where you are as far as your latitude and longitude goes. Uh, that's a personal, personal preference. If you don't want them to know where you are, just go ahead and uncheck both of the checkboxes, which fell asleep. There you go. Both of these guys, one is for Wi-Fi location and the other is for a much more uh, specific uh, access. Let's Google uh, find out where you are and give you specific targeted information on events or um, advertisements. All right, now device is set up and ready for use. Click Finish. And brings you to your home screen. Now that you're on your home screen, there is one thing that you should do as soon as you get the device. Fresh out of the box, the software might actually be out of date because you never know how long it was sitting on a shelf or possibly sitting in a warehouse from the time it was manufactured to the time it's in your hands. Easy way to check for updates, just go ahead and hit Settings, About this device, Software Update, and Check for Updates. And it'll go through, ask you what language you want to use, and that would be, for me, United States. 
Click OK. And then it just wants to verify that you're giving it permission to actually do so. And then you select the I accept and confirm. And now it's registering the device for you and searching for updates. And this one says the latest updates have already been installed. So this one's good to go. After you verify that your tablet's up to date, that's pretty much it. All you got to do is start having some fun. Hit up the Google Play Store, download some apps, do some web browsing, and check out all the other cool features of this device. If you guys have any questions, shoot me a line. And as always, if you like what I'm doing, show me some love and hit the like and subscribe buttons. Take care, YouTube, and we'll see you next time.